Kev Edward Sim Rally here. Uh, today we've got a little modification for the T38 Pro pedals. We've got a load cell mod. So this come from Sim Racing Solutions. Uh, it's cost me 90, about 90 quid, something like that. Um, yeah, UK based. Uh, I was looking at the Rimmo, Rimatech mod, but to ship that over to the UK, you'd end up paying a lot of taxes and stuff like that. So I stumbled across this one. Um, the reviews look pretty good, so I'm quite psyched to get it up and running and see if it, how much it changes me, me uh, gameplay. See if it makes me any quicker or not. So yeah, let's get it fitted and see how it is. Okay, so this is the pedal mod attached. Uh, as you can see. It's in GT mode on the pedals. Uh, really easy to fit. Oh, not easy to move this camera around over the wheel in the way. So we've got a rubber mod there. And then if sort of press down, you can sort of see the movement you get on it. We just feed the wires through the back. Take the rubber conical brake mod off and just replace it with that really really easy um, didn't bother uh, sort of film me putting it together because there's a tu 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 yeah, tutorial on the website which goes through exactly how to fit it uh, but that's it so let's, let's see what it's like on the track okay so it's all hooked up now all ready to go so let's just see if there's any adjustments on it let's see how it goes so yeah that's a that's actually a really nice feeling yeah so nice bit of pressure if you just want to sort of balance the car and then you need to put your foot on quite a bit to get that full lock that's gonna that's gonna prevent locking up really yeah uh, really nicely yeah that's perfect that is absolutely i haven't adjusted anything on this i've literally just plugged it in turn the uh turn the tester on the control panel on and that's it yeah, that's where you can absolutely spot on okay so let's give it a whirl on some games right i'm gonna go for day four first because arguably it's the most sensitive on the break uh, really easy to lock the car up on this game and you just kind of you spin off all the time I think that's one of the reasons it wasn't really kind of accepted uh, by a lot of people so let's just check the input yeah it's maybe a little bit sensitive well no it's not too bad see this is set up for when I had the BBJ mod so that was a really hard pressure yeah uh, compared to that it's it's a little easier uh, to push okay that's on a hundred I think that might actually be the default, I'm not sure, but that that feels a little bit a little bit better now. On thought it was just a little bit too too sensitive. Yeah, but obviously, like I say it was set to the BBJ mod. But no, um I'm happy with that. Yeah. So you want it where to get full lock, you you have to really stomp on it. So you're not locking up all the time and you want it where you're just sort of pressing the pedal, you just get a nice balance of the car all right so let's try it first hit the shakedown yeah five three two one left five sixty keep left of the crest right one and right four of the crest left two sixty don't cut left three don't cut keep middle of the crests trying to fight this 
Let's see it anyway. Absolutely love this car. I feel like it's going to be quite sort of um, left, sort of less nervous with the pedal. It's, I'm normally quite delicate, but I can actually put quite a bit of pressure on it now without worrying too much. Yeah, let's actually tune it up. I think I've got one safe for Australia. Yeah. Okay, if anyone is interested. See, day four. Anyone having, who's having troubles, turn your brake sensitivity down yeah, and see how you do with that. Okay. Let's give it a stage. Shall we do? Looks like everything is running well today. Touch wood. Feel, actually, feel, there's not that much difference from the, Five, from the mechanical brake four, mod that I had. Three, two, one, go. My fault, not the brave mod. Piss off, Rod. Okay. <laughs> Well, I suppose this is ideal for testing the uh, brakes out. They go a little bit OTT with the uh, fog on this game, I think. It's a nice feature, but once you get into the harder difficulty, it's like you just throw it at it. Throw it at you all the time. But actual handling of the car with the mod is really nice. Really nice. The Lancero 037 is always trying to kill you no matter what. Yeah, nice on uh, Amazing result. Nice on Dirt 4. Let's try it on Dirt Rally, maybe. Okay, so where we are with Dirt Rally. Um, I've not touched any saturation on this. And I would say that's about right for me. That feels quite nice. Yeah, bit of stompy to get it right down. And nice bit of balance. Okay. Okay, we've gone for... Bindo Moreland Reverse in Wales. We're here to test this out on the Lancia Delta S4. Let's give it something that it's going to need a lot of braking control to really put it to the test. Ah, oh, my monocle library's gone. Where's that gone? Five, okay. four, three, two, one. 
two, one, go. Right four long, six the over bumps. Left six, and right five long over crest, continues past junction. Left three through gate, towards splash. Left four, into left six over jump. Into corner, left three, continues over jump. Right one long, tight, stone up. Into a cube left, post and side, 60. Caution, keep mid over jump, water splash. Left four through gate. Press 150, past junction. Left six over bump, 100 pass lay bar. Press left four. Again, it's got a nice feel to it. Go for balance on the car. <laughs> There's a little bit alien at the minute. Very natural. I don't feel like I'm having to take any time to adjust to it or anything. It's just, it just sort of feels right. The driving itself is a little bit off, though, definitely. Okay, yeah, feels great on dirt rally. Uh, let's try Richard Baines maybe. Give it one, one more test. Okay, so we're gonna go for Hiddock. Nice tarmac, tricky uh, stage. That'll probably get the more most benefit out the brakes. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see how it does. Go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Four K left. Four. And K right. Tight five. Fast right. Plus sixty. Is it? Four crest. One twenty. Ah yeah. Turn ninety left. Sixty. K right. Eighty. Yeah, there's a nice sort of. You've got more control when you right, lock the brakes up. So I can actually remember the stage though. I'm sure I don't have the first time I've done this. You can get like a nice control. Yeah, it does feel uh, Feels really good on this as well. Pen and 
Yeah, feels feels much better than the uh, the normal kind of full guard. Which means I'll probably get too confident in a minute and crash. <laughs> Yeah, it's to be fair, I was actually skeptical at how much of a difference it would make, but you can really sort of find that balance between locking and heavy braking. Which I think with like a potentiometer you're sort of off and on quite a lot more trying to find it, trying to find like the perfect position. And sometimes when you lock up it's with a poten potentiometer it's hard to get it back. He says while well, locking up and crashing. <laughs> Easy left, reach up right, long, Easy. Top 90 left, minus, Easy. Easy right, 70. The water temperature is really. Long jump and easy left, 120. Left max. And easy right of a big key right, long 50. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's hard to explain, but because the actual feel of itself, the pressure that I'm putting on is very similar to the blue BBJ mod that I had. But just controlling that sort of point that you need just is so much more natural so now I can sort of break in hard and then just as I can as I feel the car start to lock up I can just pull it back a little bit and just find that that perfect sort of perfect position whereas with potentiometer even with the conical mod I don't know, you're like sort of on off, you're trying to search for it, but exactly where your foot needs to be. It takes like a bit longer to get the perfect position. since I'm acting gravel on this game. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's the Conical Brake mod. Um, Sim Racing Systems, I think it was called. Um, I'll, link, I'll link the video on fitting in the description. Uh, and I'll link the website in the description as well. Uh, for anyone wants to pick it up. But, first thoughts just really instinctive and really natural straight away um if you've already got a, a decent tough conical brake mod anyway it's not going to take much time at all to adjust it's, it's very similar maybe if you go from a spring or like a weaker pedal you might really find it uh hard at first like there's not a lot of giving it um but that's you you get used to it really quick. I got used to it for in the BBJ mod really quick, because at first I thought that was a little bit tough, but it does feel more natural once you get into it. Um, yeah, uh, not much more to say. No negatives really, really quick. Probably took me about twenty minutes to fit it. 
still all on my rig and everything. I didn't have to take my pedal set off my rig or anything. Just kept it as it was. A little bit fiddly getting in down the back. Um, yeah, um, definitely recommend. Brilliant. Um, anyone who's after uh, upgrading the pedals, I've got like the T3. There's a T3 P, P out. Um, T3PO version and a T3PA Pro version as well. Uh, so they're both slightly different. Uh, so if you do order it, make sure you order the right one for whatever pedal you've got. Um, yeah, thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video. <laughs>